All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more Fantasy Cow Radio. So, I'm sorry, it's been nearly a week since an episode, and uh, that's because you guys can probably still tell from my voice, um, <laughs> I got I got very sick. Um, I'm pretty sure I ended up getting a strep throat. Um, that, sure, that sure is what it felt like, at the very least. Um, I didn't go to the doctor because, hey, uh, college student. Um, <laughs> but, uh... I'm feeling a lot better now, um, at least well enough to record, so we're going to go ahead and try to bang this one out quick before I lose my voice. So, uh, I've been doing a little bit of work in between episodes here. Uh, mainly, I've been going around and exploring the map, trying to hit up every location so that we'll be moving fast no matter where we are on the map. Um, and then, I've also been trying to buy up a whole bunch of enterprises wherever I can, and uh, we've been pretty successful uh, at that. So, we'll see... Uh, once wage time comes around, we're making a lot of money now. Not just from the Gnomish Bank. We're just making it through other sources. Um, so, I saw these Tundra Banners, though, and I figured this would be a good point to start the episode. We're going to go ahead and try to wipe these guys out. Uh, i got a couple things I want to do this episode. Uh, the main one being is I want to try out this whole guild system uh, that I believe it... I believe Regale is what enabled it. I think that's a separate mod altogether. Uh, that they added into Fantasy Cal Radio. Not 100% sure on that one. Um, but it seems pretty cool. So we're going to try it out. I did a little experimenting around with it beforehand. Still <laughs> still not entirely sure how it works. But uh, we're going to figure out together, okay? So let's see. We just got a bunch of these Tundra guys. We should be pretty fine. Um, other goal. So I've done some uh, I've done some thinking. And I realized that uh, we do we need some magic defense, okay? I know a lot of you guys in the comments are like, yeah, no shit, VMP. We've been telling you this for like four episodes now. It's just, it's going to take a lot of investment for us to really increase our magic defense. Um, but I've decided I'm at least willing to commit the next two level ups will go to intelligence so that we can increase, uh, increase our defense to two, um, which still is not very much, but hopefully that'll prevent the mages from being able to one-shot us because that's what they've been able to do so far and it's a little embarrassing it's a little embarrassing um so we're gonna see we're gonna see all right that was pretty good did we even lose anybody our boys are all healers it's it's pretty gorgeous they just <laughs> whenever someone gets the slightest bit of wounded he's got four people around him. they're like hey i got you bro great teamwork man great teamwork all right sweet and then the real thing that I wanted out of this, whole bunch of Crusaders. Guess we'll take the Cleric 2 and the Prisoner. There we go. And some free XP is always good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Elven Archer or Fighter? I feel like Elven Elves are supposed to be really good archers, so we're going to go ahead and go that route. Then another Mage. How many Adaptive Mages do we have? Those are the best ones we have. No, no, no. We have one Expert. That's right. That's right. And then he goes Master, and then I'm pretty sure, like, Archmage or something like that. Okay. Um, uh, we don't really need to loot that. We got tons of money with us right now. Okay, so with that done, uh, we're gonna quick head over to the Blazing Hand Temple. Um, say hi to our lady friend because I've kind of been neglecting her, been ghosting her. Um, luckily it's the medieval times, so you don't have to respond to someone for like months at a time. And they just think that you were, you know, you were on the other side of Cal Raid and you were busy. <laughs> or the pigeons didn't get through. It's not like real life where Jesus Christ start freaking out after, uh, four minutes of you not texting them back. Ah, it happens. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, first off, let's go ahead and visit her. We should probably get married to her soon. Soon, We should uh, lock this up. I mean, we definitely have more than enough relationship. <laughs> 44. Jesus. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Um, and then... Oh. Is there not a... Oops, I just left town. Doesn't look like there's a feast going on anymore. Am I crazy? The Grandmaster isn't even here, so... I don't know. Okay, fine. <laughs> I guess be that as it will. Anyone at the tavern for us? Bunduk? Meh. <laughs> I don't know about you, Bunduk. Okay. Anyways, let's look at this regale stuff. So, if we go over here and go to the Crafter's Workshop. So, um, or actually, we'll go to Guilds first, I think. Okay, so here are all the different guilds uh in the game and so with each guild you can have different skill ranks and whatever that you know corresponds to woodcrafting smithing uh exploring i'm not really sure on the rest of them are pretty self-explanatory except for gardening still not sure what gardening does um what we did the only one i did so far and of course there's no guild here is the fishing we are a master fisher now and so basically if you want to get good at any of these um let's uh let's do mining 
Maybe? Mining or smithing, maybe. Maybe smithing would be better. Oh, there's no smithing guild here. Okay, we'll go with mining. So, if you wanted... First off, if you're at a novice, if you have no skill so far, you gotta do this first, and... Um, do, do, do. You gotta do this first, and it'll, or it'll actually make you a novice from unranked. Then you need to do a whole bunch of training with them. Um, and then you'll be able to go up the ranks. I believe it goes novice, companion, then master. And I think you... You think you might be able to become a Grandmaster at some point. Not 100% sure on that one, though. So let's see. We got that. So we're now we're a novice here. And so when you're a novice, you get a 15% discount for buying whatever it is that you would need from here. Um, and as you go up the ranks, you can continue to get more and more stuff. Uh, more and more discounts. So it's kind of nice for some of them. Um, I don't know what you would really need tools in this one. If it was Nova Aetis, it'd be sweet because we need millions of tools. But there's not really a whole lot of tools that you need it, uh, from this mod. But so here we go. So we did a little bit of training. Of course, you got to pay for it. Um, and you get a little bit of experience. Not really sure how this works. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how it works. All I know is if you do enough training, your rank is going to go up. Um, and I believe you need uh, a skill of five to become a companion. So we're going to do one more of these. And then I believe you need a skill of 13 to become a master. And like I said, I think there might be a grandmaster. Um, I think you can become a grandmaster eventually. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how high you would have to be for that one. But here we go. So now we're skill of five. So now we can receive the companion um, rank. Which of course costs a little more money. Um, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm and done maybe it's a whole hell of a lot more than 13 hours come on man <laughs> nice okay so now we're a companion and exploring so once again tools are even cheaper for us now um i don't know what you can do with exploring to be honest not 100 percent sure uh, once you get to a high enough rank you can actually give out lessons yourselves and get a, paid a little bit of money for it it's not a ton um but uh tell you what I'm going to go find a place with either smithing or persuasion or what's it called? <laughs> I thought there was an entertainment one. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Um, but I'm going to go find one with smithing. Uh, and that way I can show you, you can actually build stuff with this. Okay, here we go. So Kudan, this one has the smithing. So um, we're going to go ahead and hop in here real quick. Which one do we want to go to first? Let's go to the guilds again. So, like I said, we just need to first get novice ranked here. And then I think we'll actually be able to allow it into the smithery itself. And uh, you can actually craft weapons and armor there. Um, you can also make stuff, I believe, with the leatherworking and the, like, the lumberjack, the, like, the woodworking area. I think those are the three main... Hmm. I think it's just those three. I think those are the three main guilds that you can actually craft stuff. And then the other stuff is for actually getting the resources um, from the land, which hopefully I'll be able to show you later. I haven't done successfully yet, but um, then again, I'm not really a master ranked in anything. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and like off camera quick <laughs> grind all these up to master rating um, just because it really doesn't cost that much. Like look, 150 time or 150 for every time we uh, train. We've got we've got tens of thousands. That's uh, that's no big deal. And from what I've seen in, in comments, and uh, other videos it looks like it can actually be really beneficial like you can gain a ton oh, wait hold up oh we're already a companion did we do that okay well anyway so you can receive oh no oh whoops whoops <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in exploring again uh, let's go here smithing there we go okay so let me do this for a little bit uh get up to the rank of master and then i will uh show you guys a little bit of the crafting system Oh yeah, so uh, this is what I meant by we're making a decent amount of money every week now. Look at this. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of die works. Um, so we're profiting, profiting nine grand a week. So yeah, we have uh, plenty of spare change to be spending on this. Um, so let's see, what are we at now? Are we ready to become anyone important? Uh, nope, still going. Still a companion. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so that took a, a while <laughs> grinding that, but uh, we have finally reached a skill of 13, which allows us to receive the master knowledge and rank in smithing. So that costs three and a half thousand, man. Three and a half racks. That's uh, that's quite a bit. Um, but I mean, I guess, you know, for your boy Corgan, you know, Orc Jesus, that's nothing. Money means nothing to Orc Jesus, all right? Um, 
<laughs> kind of easy to say that when you have a whole bunch, right? Um, but all right, so we'll quick do this, and then we now we should be able to look at the actual Smith and have a whole bunch of uh, options for us to create stuff. I don't think uh, what we'll be able to craft is actually really worth it. Um, what is this? You have no tools. Equip some. You can't craft anything. Okay, he recognizes us as an expert. Um, hmm. That's interesting. So do I need to buy tools from somebody? Okay. So I bought that. And I know I'm going to have to buy... Actually, hold up. Uh, two. I know I'm going to have to buy some iron in order to craft. So luckily, we get a 40% discount now as a master. Um, so we get like you know, six of those. Should be pretty good. Uh-huh. Let's leave this. And so we need to equip the tools. Oh, shit. I just wasted a ton of money. Ah, oh, shit, because I didn't have enough space in here. Well, oh well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too fussed about it. No, you can't equip any tools like that. Hmm. Hmm. What do they want? Oh, we can get rid of this chicken at the very least. Probably get rid of, uh, get rid of some of that stuff. Okay, that should give us enough space. So let's see, do we just need to have tools in our inventory then? Or, uh, I'll, otherwise I might have to go do some more research. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can craft some stuff now. We just needed tools in our inventory. So, all right, so we can craft tools or supplies, uh, craft various smithing items, gloves, leggings, helmets, medium or heavy armor, sword, axe, firearm. What is this stuff? So what can we make here? So we can make a mail shirt, some Mamluk mail with a whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What about just a sword? What can we make with a sword? All right, so let's see. So we can make a cleaver, a falchion, uh, bastard sword it looks to be the best one there is, but it takes three sheet metals. And so sheet metals, I think, yep, they're over here. Sheet metals is two iron and one wood per metal. So it's a bit of a, it's not a super complex uh, crafting system, but it does have a little bit to it. I can appreciate that. Um, let's see, axe-wise, oh wow, there are tons of axes. Okay, interesting. All right, so the best one being a, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Firearms. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I think we might have to make ourselves a pistol. And what's this over here? Anything cool here? Full helm? Meh. Meh. I want to make a pistol. Okay, so let's see. Um, it said we needed, what, wood and oil. So let's see, is there any oil we can buy here where do we get where do we get oil from i know you can get wood from whoops we can get wood from here so buy one there but i don't know if you can get oil somewhere here like gardening no grain <laughs> okay no um fishing no Hunting guild? I don't know. Well, there is none here, so we can't. Exploring or something? No, exploring gives you tools. Huh. All right, hold up. Let me go find uh, some oil somewhere. Okay, that's some expensive oil right there. 1000 for it, but uh, I guess you gotta pay the price, right? <laughs> um, Jesus, man, that's a lot. Now I, now I understand why we invaded Iraq. God damn. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Hopefully they have a smith here, too. Uh, they do. Awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. Where is that at? Firearm. Boom. All right, flintlock pistol, baby. Let's do it. All right. Uh-oh. You have bad feelings about this crafting? No. No. Whoa, hold up. What was that? Notification. Graybank. Spawn from hell have come near Graybank to bring death and destruction. Oh. Okay, it says we crafted it, but it said we then it said we didn't learn anything from it. Which I guess I'm okay with as long as we... Oh, it's a crude. It's a crude flintlock pistol. Hmm. That's a little disappointing. Well, hey, it's something. It's, <laughs> it's our first our first masterpiece. Okay, um, we'll give this to Bambert. Uh, even though I don't think he can uh, really do anything with it yet. And even though he has a baller-ass repeating crossbow. Yeah, this is definitely not better than what he has. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll give that to someone at some point. But <laughs> for right now, it's fine. Okay, uh, otherwise, we need to go look up uh, Graybank. Because I think we might get a chance to fight some demons here. 
Or actually, I think it'll actually be Devils. There's a difference. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Yep, it is Gray Bank. How far away is that? Oh, good God. That's pretty far away. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I mean... I guess we can run down to the four ways in, teleport over there, and then it won't be so far. I guess we can do that. We're also we also have a lot of troops with us right now. We almost I think we have too many troops. Uh, I should probably drop some of these boys off and just you know travel with an elite group of you know some of our knights, maybe a few of our vanquishers, and then our mages. I think that's about it. We don't need any more than that. Okay, tons of money in our bank account too. We'll go ahead and pick some of that up. Jesus Christ, I don't. Didn't look like anyone just declared war. Just a bunch of... A lot of people making defensive packs. Uh, it's going to be interesting once war does break out because it's basically going to be like, uh, you know, World War One all over again, man. <laughs> Everyone's going to get called in on one side or the other. Could be pretty, pretty entertaining, actually. Okay, so let's see. First off, we're going to hit up the bank account. So I had 70,000 in there, so we'll take out... Take out, like, 15. Yeah, 15 just to keep it... Yeah, 15 should be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think if we keep it, like, every time we come here, around 60K, that should be good. We should be fine. All right, Takar. Um, mm-hmm. I already know what you do. Okay, I'm interested. So 2,000, that's fine. And to Wizard's Tower. Now, wait, even if we don't find the Hell Spawns here, um, we will have uh, a chance to get another Golem. <gasps> oh yes baby oh we didn't just get a golem we didn't just get any old golem we got the best golem in the goddamn game the silver golem looking like mr clean out here look at that shiny head oh a gift from the gods tell me about yourself 36 strength, 87 health, 500 old weapon proficiencies 10 power strike and 10 magic defense nine shield he is ready to knock some fools out and he does have a shield the silver golem bracelet 3333 silver sword oh my god doesn't do a ton of damage but hey when you have 10 power strike 37 strength and 500 weapon proficiency it doesn't need to <laughs> it doesn't need to oh man this guy's dope this guy's really is that satisfactory yeah you're goddamn right it's satisfactory oh my god that's that's awesome okay Let's go hunting for some demons. So I said somewhere near Grey Bank. Now, obviously, it's been like a day or two since that. Oh, here we go. Temporary fishing spot. The demons can wait. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. It's, it's calling us poor. Cool. Even the game's insulting me. Um, <laughs> you can fish. All right. Start fishing then. Let's see. What, what, what can we do here? Wow, watch us actually miss these demons because I chose to sit down and fish. <laughs> um, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. Um, they're like busy raiding villages, slaughtering peasants right now, and you know, <laughs> Corgan is just chilling, fishing. Uh oh, it's saying we have bad feelings about this gather. Come on, I'm a I'm a master. How do I have bad feelings about this? Is that why he was calling it poor? Okay, your fi oh no, your fishing period was a failure. Hmm. It gives you a life lesson, though, granting 5 XP. You lost 8 tools while gathering. What? We got 5 fish, though. What? Okay, I don't count that as a failure. Oh, look. Oh, tools are out of 50. Oh, that's interesting. Was it using the tools when we were... Hmm. When we crafted the pistol? Because that one just took, what, 8 or something like that? It didn't take 12. Huh. Okay. So we're kind of getting it. But look, we just, I mean, we got, we failed and got a ton of fish. So I, I count that as a win. I count that as a win. And so I think is, I would assume that as we continue to increase our uh, skill level, uh, you not only get more, um, uh, but the success rates are higher. And hopefully maybe you, you use less tools in the process. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but I'll try to figure it out. Like I said, this was kind of just an uh, exploring episode, and I'm going to try to get more in-depth in it uh, in between episodes. Um, Corsair landing? No. All right, Corsairs. 
All right, well, I'm gonna look around for a little bit, see if I can see these guys. If not, uh, we can go. I've got another plan uh, for for another battle we can potentially do. Okay. You know what I just said about like the whole World War One thing? Yeah, this this might be the start of it. Okay, so Bleeding Throat Clan declared war on us. Uh, the Riders Megocracy, who are our allies, our allies declared war on them. Rodox declared war on the mages. Uh, we declared war on the Rodox. And then the dwarves and the orcs made peace. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, and the trade agreement between... Wait, what? We had a trade agreement with the undead? That makes sense. Hmm. Well. That does change things. Alright, hello little Rodox. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh shit, wait. Man, our castle is right in the middle of all them. That's a problem. <laughs> um, we might have to go uh, save them. Okay, I'm gonna look around like real quick for these uh, for these demons, and if I don't see them very shortly, I'm just gonna head over there, and uh, we'll fight some orcs. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're making a little bit more money. Some of the stuff uh, we had two two oil presses in the Rodok town, so a little bit's getting uh, sequestered. No big deal. But I saw this going on. Um, I have no idea where the uh, where the demons are. Honestly, they probably got taken out because they they got spawned right next to uh, basically the entire Rydus megocracy because they're very condensed. They don't have a lot of castles yet, so yeah, they got spawned right in the middle of it. So I yeah, I'm not surprised that they probably just got taken out. But what I did see was this right here. Um, this patrol getting taken out by these corsairs and drow teaming up and these guys already have some mages held captive and i'm hoping they're going to knock out some of these golems i don't even know if golems can be knocked out but if they can we're going to try to pick them up off them so let's see come on hurry up hurry up come on come on two of them left three and a two and there we go perfect boom just like that surrender or die so we've got them out number two to one we should be okay here um, so let me see. Let's go ahead and uh, do, do, do. go ahead and follow me. Infantry and just charge in. What we got here? All right, all right, all right. So apparently, I didn't, I didn't know this. Uh, you guys were giving me some tips in the comments again. Um, so the whole reason that uh, for the undead, we've been like very unsure, like you know when our channel energy or um, our turn undead is, is is working or not turns out no it hasn't been working uh and that's because you can't do it while you're on horseback you have to be on foot in order for it to do anything um so that's very good to know uh we're gonna have to try that out the next time we're actually at war with the undead unfortunately we're not right now so i don't know we'll just have to wait and see i guess uh, our boy senior doing a decent job so far let me go ahead and drop some healing for everybody just to you know keep them up keep them happy we're looking good so far we might have been too far away for our mages to really do anything. Yeah, I think that's actually the case. That's fine, though. That's fine. We're doing, we're doing just dandy against them. Like I said, these... Uh, oh, my God. Okay. I was going to say these drow aren't doing a whole lot. And then we got smacked by a mage. 40-some damage. Not cool. Not cool. Oh, here it is. Okay. 83 points of damage. That'll one-shot us. <laughs> that will one-shot us. All right. Well, I mean, hopefully our boys can finish them off. All right. Yep. So you're making the case for us to get some uh, some better magic defense. You might be right. Uh, you, you might be right. <laughs> How close are we to leveling up? Need about what seventy thousand more. That's not bad. That won't take. That won't take too terribly long. Uh, we haven't done a whole ton of fighting yet this episode. But if we do end up going against you know some orcs, if we end up defending against an orc siege, then I am sure we will get just plenty. Just plenty. That are going against some more undead. Undead's where we really make our money, man. Damn, this guy's throwing darts out here. Holy shit. This guy's got a cannon for an arm. And he's dead. Cool. <laughs> that works too. Ooh, where's my silver golem? Oh, he's probably not in this battle. So there's the clay golem. There's the iron golem. And I think the... Yeah, the silver golem was at the bottom of our... Uh, of our roster. So I don't think he's actually got in. Why are my knights... Did I have my knights following me? I did, and they didn't charge in automatically when I died. That's a little annoying. Looks like we're basically done. Okay, there we go. Cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and capture these guys, even though I think they just always escape regardless. 
get another knight, another vanquisher, better mage. Cool, cool, cool. And a master mage. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Looking good. Looking good. All right. And so that's actually the best mage in the game. Gotcha. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move the silver golem up because we actually want to see him in action. Boom, boom with everyone else. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. What are these bodyguards? Meh. No, nah, we don't need them. We don't need them. Um, any of you guys want some of this? Yeah? Cool. <laughs> oh, is this actually from mages? I think this actually... Oh, yeah. A journeyman cap. It is from mages. Okay, we can give this to... Uh, what's his face? Or does he actually... I think he actually he might already have something better than that. Aiden? Oh, no. Aiden does not have a hat yet. Yeah, there you go. We gave him an Archmage, the most powerful staff in the game. And he doesn't even have, like, beyond the very basic robes that a mage would use. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's uh, tactical decisions, man. We're min-maxing uh, as much as possible. Uh-huh. Clefi. All right, so Clefi, I've decided we're going to make her an unarmed fighter. Um, so we've got that going. And then where's looting? There it is. Jesus Christ, I'm blind. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to make her an unarmed fighter. Um, well, she's obviously not there yet, uh, but uh, eventually she's going to be. I haven't, I, I'm still trying to, I need to look up some videos showing how effective it is. Um, but she's going to be our test subject. And who knows, maybe down the road we'll make a, uh, a monk character for herself. If it's, if it's, if I think it's going to be that effective. Because that could be pretty cool to have a let's play where we literally just go around punching people to death. Um, I'd find that amusing. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'd find that kind of funny. All right, so the Drow and the Undead are signing a trade agreement. That's that's cool. I still don't understand why we ever signed a trade agreement with the Undead. Uh, but hey, diplomacy, it isn't perfect. It isn't perfect. As long as we don't become straight-up allies with them, I think we'll be okay. Keep it moving. Ooh, had some Rodox following us there. Keep it going. How are we doing on food? Oh, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Keep it going. Keep it going. So yeah, I think we can go ahead and try to end this episode off with trying to fight some orcs, man. That, unless we see some more... Okay, yep, it's being besieged. We need to... Oh, shit. Um... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Where are we at right now? It might be quicker for us to go there. Teleport to Tulga. Yeah, it's the quickest for us to go to the Four Ways Inn, teleport to Tulga, and then travel the rest of the way, I think. I think. All right. It's either Tulga or Ikemer. I think. Hmm. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure which one would be closer. I think Tulga might be. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Another two thousand. Take me to Tulga. Thank you very much. I don't know how much time that realistically... Oh, no, that, no, no, that definitely saves some time. Yeah, and Talga is definitely closer. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, get it over there. Okay, they haven't started the battle yet. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Um, how many is this? Uh, what is that? About 350, 500, 800? Looks to be about 800. Okay. Oh, no, they're going in now. All right, we need to... Ooh, ooh, finesse him and get in here. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right. So first off, we need our mages in here. Yeah, we we need our mages in here. So let's see, the adept ones, and then we want our expert coming in here to the golems. I don't know how much we really actually need the golems. Um, where's our master mage? The master mage. There we go. Get him in there. Um. I almost want these guys afterwards. And actually, I want these guys before him. Okay. I think this is going to have to do. <laughs> I think this is going to have to do. Uh, Jeremis, let's level you up real quick. Uh, yep, this will help. Boop, boop. Cool, cool. All right. All right, PS. We ready? I think we're ready. Let's do this. This could get hype. All right, so there's about 200 of us against 800 enemies. What? All right, help the defenders, though. There we go. Okay, so that's... No? no? 
Come on. Jesus Christ, what? Okay, all right. <laughs> We're finally allowed in. 210 against 758. All righty. Um, let's... Hmm. Oh my god, I only get to choose 13 people to join us. All right, give me the expert and the master mages. Give me Aiden. Uh, give me like five of them. Two adepts. Silver. Iron and one more blazing hand knight. Oh man, that's not a lot of troops, guys. <laughs> that is not a lot of troops. Um, okay, the five knights should provide a decent amount of healing. Should provide a decent amount of healing. Oh no, they're throwing their own shit at us. Yo, mages, I'm gonna need you to start doing some work. Otherwise, we are not gonna survive this. Oh my Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Did you see that fireball? I don't think I have ever seen one magic shot take out that mage. That was thirty some troops with a single shot. The man's is a god. <laughs> he just and that was an adept man. He should level up straight to master from there. I don't care what you say. That dude is a G permanently. All right, so we're gonna do this. What? Oh fuck! I just got one shotted. Gah, gah, come on, come on. Not gonna do it to me like that. Alright. Pop a little bit of this here. Okay. Jesus. Okay, I need my mages to throw magic up at them. Okay, cool, nice, nice shots, nice shots. Damn, man. Okay, that was another big shot. Alright, so we're doing work against him. We gotta be careful, man. Jesus. I was like, I was trying to like heal our boys up and then we just got destroyed. Alright, we'll go ahead and do a positive energy burst. Right, we'll go ahead and put up our auras here. Can we get the other one yet? No, not gonna let me. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Lay on hands. Damn it! What the f Yo! I am, I'm getting really fucking pissed off with all this magic shit. How are you even hitting me? You shouldn't be able to hit me. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this. Okay, we're getting a lot of mages in here now. Alright, we almost need to like back up. I don't even know how he hit me the second time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go restore everyone's hit points over time, increase their damage, and increase their speed. Alright, so we're giving them a whole bunch of auras here. And we're still regaining faith just because we're, you know, Orc Jesus. We've got faith for days. Cool, cool. Got a bunch of mages over here. They're doing work. Aiden, Aiden, come on, buddy. I need you to be over here doing work against them. What are you talking about? The lightning bolt zapped you for 22 points of damage. How? How did he get to me? Okay, that was a lot of mages that just went down there. Damn, the orcs really do got their own kind of magic, man. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. This is not good for us. Let's do a little bit of this. Flame. Let me deactivate this. I don't think it's really doing a whole lot. Hmm. Okay, well, they're coming in now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We need you to hold. Oh, look at our silver golem. Oh, come on. Come on, golem. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay alive. Don't die on me yet. Don't die on me yet. Oh, no. The iron golem's down. Oh, oh no. Ouch. Oh, my God. We're getting crushed here. So much damage. All right. We do have our reinforcements coming in. We might have to retreat here. Oh, Jesus, man. This is... This is intense. But you better turn around. Come on. Turn around, knight. What are you doing? Let this dude just go off on you. Come on, this orcish juggernaut. This is intense, man. Oh, God. Our silver golem is definitely getting hurt here. Oh, he's dead. The silver golem is dead. Jesus. 
I can't tell who's winning this and who's losing this. Because they've definitely had to have reinforcements too already. But we're on our third reinforcement. I don't know what reinforcement they're on. They've just got so many good units left still. Ooh. This is a close call. This is a very close call. And the problem is, is we're going to need to just stick with one of these at one point. Because we're not going to take out all 700 of them. That's just not going to happen. So what we need to do is take out just enough waves of them for the siege to be over. I think this might be the one. I think this is going to be our best call. I mean, we've lost our, our golems at this point. Uh, most of our mages are dead. We've got a bunch of our vanquishers coming in yet that haven't seen any, haven't seen any battle yet. So we might be okay on that note. We got the dwarf paragons are in now too. They're doing pretty decent. They're doing pretty decent right now. They're holding them off. It looks like the orcs are starting to maybe run out of their shamans. I'm not seeing any magic from this distance. And wow, the dwarf paragon. I think there's only one dwarf paragon too. He is holding it. Oh no, there's two of them. They are holding it down. We need to invest in some more of them. We're going to have to go to an orc t or to a dwarf town after this. And pick up a whole bunch of them. Whoa, what is this dude? What in the fuck is this thing? What are these? Are these like trolls or something? What is that? A crusher. Do they have trolls in this? There are trolls in here. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Alright. Cleric of Grummish. <laughs> Alright, that was a that was a smasher going down. Alright, yeah, no, no, okay. So these guys, these guys are who we needed to hold the line. Although, admittedly, uh, the <laughs> the line is a lot easier to hold when you're not getting barraged by uh, magic. Um, <laughs> that's definitely true. Alright, one of the one of the paragons has finally gone down. I think the other one was knocked unconscious, possibly. I'm not sure. Alright, so let's see if our vanquishers can actually hold the line without the paragons working for us. I don't know. Looks like they're doing a decent job so far, though. God, the orcs look look gruesome. Look at that one. Look at that crusher. His hand reaches literally across the entire map. How do you do that? How do you fight against that? He could be standing over there, smacking guys down in the towers. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. We need some more healing going on. Come on, boys. Where's the teamwork? Where is the love? We got some more guys coming in. Not as good, though. Definitely not as good. I don't know if we can... I don't think we can trade one-to-one -one with these guys right now. We still need to be killing more of them than they are killing of us. We're not that far ahead. Nice. Okay. You know what? We might just have this. Let's check out this new group coming in. And then I think I might cut the recording until the end of the battle. But I think we might just have this. I don't know. I mean, they still got some good looking units coming in. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd ask them out on a date. But um, they're not, you know, they're not mages. And we seem to be doing okay against these guys. Seem to be doing okay. Well, I'll be back in a sec, and we'll either be crushed or we'll have won. One of the two. Uh, so it's not looking good, guys. Yeah, it's not looking good. Our front line uh, has just been completely obliterated. Now, we do still have our mages back here. Alright, so I guess our mages are actually going to be able to do a decent amount of damage here against them. But, um... Oof, oof. Doesn't look good, and they just got an entire new reinforcement wave. I don't think they're anywhere close to being done. Um, this puts us in a tough situation. Ah, what do we do? I think as soon as they start getting over here, we should probably try to retreat. And just see what it's looking like after that. <laughs> make a make a, make a a call. Uh, come on. Yeah, no, we need to go. Okay. So let's see, we lost 130. That's basically all of our units left, I think. <laughs> okay. 
Seven against 430, damn it. Ah, oh, negotiate with the besieger. How much? Hmm. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at? <laughs> we don't have a whole lot left. Damn, I think we might have to retreat here. They've got too much. We just don't have enough left. We just don't have the boys left. Who who do we have left? Who's even left to fight? Is anyone alive right now? We're at full health. Am I blind? It looks like everyone's knocked unconscious. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let me let me take everyone out of here. Uh huh. Uh huh. We do have one of our dwarf paragons is still alive. What the hell, dwarf champion zero? <laughs> just a zero. Not zero out of one. Just zero. Okay. Cool. Oh man. Orcs are no joke. It says seven troops, though. That might just be us and our heroes, I guess. Um, Alright. Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's nothing else to that. That is uh, it's a little bit too much for us. Now, we should be able to come back in and fight them. Doesn't actually look like they have any mages in there. But for right now, we need to get out of here. Alright. It's a bit unfortunate, but I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So, the uh, this is <laughs> we don't often end these episodes on a on a low note, uh, but I kind of I kind of don't mind this. It sets up the next episode and uh, gives us a goal to work towards. We want this castle back, and I think we can get it. I don't think it's going to be that hard to take it back. Uh, the real question is, how do we uh, raise a force? able to um, defend against, you know, 800 orcs. And the answer might just be, realistically, that we can't. But I don't know. I'm going to think about it in between episodes. If you have any uh, tips, I'd love to hear it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy, guys.